Hello and welcome back to Bottom of the Well. We're going to explore a little bit more and try to find out another way to get through this game. Uh, what Alice should we do? Let's, let's try a custom Alice. I want to I see a, how many points. Invest nine points. Okay. Let's... Wait, Start customizing. Yeah, I want survival all the way up. Um, I don't. This time I won't give a crap about chess, social life, and eh, why not? Fitness, supplies, oof. And where should I throw in the final point? Let's go with social life, just because I don't know why. But let's do it. Skip this, you've already seen all that. Start making some choices. End of the world. Come on. Okay. Let's think about our options. Okay. Why did it? Why do it alone? Wouldn't it be safer in a group? Could be done in a small group. We're all talking about what to do, so yeah, of course. Rustic of you to think you can stay in the apartment. Rustic? Wasn't like I had been through a lot of apocalypse before. I think we've read that already. Eh. Nah. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. A backpack. Okay. Ooh, now we have more options. I think. Let's take the first aid kit. Let's take food. Let's take more food. Can we take the sleeping bag? Okay, now let's, let's drop one food. Uh, I'm torn between these three right here. Um, I actually feel like the flashlight might come in most handy. Wait, oh, I was able to take two items. Huh. Wait, no, I'd rather take the sleeping bag than the radio. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Exit inventory. Most of them were coming. People watching the movie. If you had stayed. Oh, this is cool. Now I'm leading like a survival group. <laughs> Streets. Streets were bad. Gridlocked. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff we've gone through before. Um, let's try and steal a vehicle. I have the, dis I have the, the skills for it now. Oh, this makes it so much better. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep walking. You just said that, Alice. You just said that. Where were they going? They're going home. Later, half an hour was nothing. Nothing at all. But luckily, the estimate was completely wrong. Sometimes I'll walk half an hour in the wrong direction just because I stubbornly refused to. Yeah, already seen that. 
Okay, people aren't attacking each other. Held a few people. I did lose precious time. Time, yep. It's subway again. Ambulance is moving. Um. Let's try and get away from danger. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> Except it's a dream, so therefore I was born yesterday. <laughs> Momentum forward. Movement forward. That's all I cared about. Half ran and jogged. Felt like it was late to... Yeah, okay. Saw that in the last one. I wasn't the one in the worst shape in the group, though. I'll adjust to the speed of, to one another by unspoken agreement. No one stopped to rest. As far as we could. And... Got away from the downtown area, things were much smoother. We ran as fast as we could, as far as we could. No bombs. Still no bombs. Um, we just kept walking. Why? Didn't want to stop. Soon I was on. Oh man. Aw, I lost my group. There's my group, and I lost them. Didn't see the first one because I wasn't paying attention. You were outside with. Oh man! Oh, I'm gonna blow up again! No! Oh, come on. I got the same ending as that other time. It wasn't supposed to end the same way. I'm tired of blowing up! Uh, let me just skip through this. Skip. 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 I want to skip it. Why, why is the skip option not working? That actually went a lot faster than I thought it would. It was only like seven minutes. <laughs> I died in seven minutes. Uh. More importantly though, we have time to try it again. Better prepared two of five. What? Why did I get an achievement there? If I... I was pretty prepared. I'm gonna customize it again. I'm gonna go the same things, but do it right. Do this right. Give me my supplies. I don't need a career. Let's get fit. Oh, shit. Oh, this is Dark Alice, isn't it? Let's, uh... Bump up social life. Dating. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the same thing I did before, isn't it? There might be one or one off or so. Okay. Skip. Let's just let's just come on. Come on, skip ahead to the choices. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, why do I have people here? What do they represent? Let's think about our options. Let's try and go that same way again, but do things right. Okay. Let's tough it out at home this time. We haven't done that. Okay, we're keeping them with me. Okay, we found a discussion online. We all crowded around his phone. It's about a fallout shelter down on 3rd. Not far. Oh, it's the... I told him good luck and stayed. I already faced the... Top stories of apartment buildings might be safest as far as protection against radiation goes. Um... Got into that habit. Okay. Sadly, no, we never got to the habit of getting bombed. <laughs> Grab the biggest bag I had. Hiking bag. Wait, is this. I have a bigger bag than before. What's going on? First aid kit. Take food. Oh man, I have a lot of food options here. Let's take the flashlight. And the sleeping bag. And I could take more food. Oh, this is great. 
Can I take anything else? I'd love to take more. Um, afraid the building would collapse. So I packed my bags in advance. Secondly, the truth was that I just didn't come to think of it. I'm sure I had tons of other useful things lying around. But you know, flashlight's what's important. Took a lot longer. Sooner or later, the ruck ran out. First electricity went. I remember being lit up by just my laptop screen. Before I had time to panic, there was this rumble. Plaster started raining down from the ceiling. The toilet seat making me kind of started feeling oily. Ooh. I was completely terrified. There was nothing really I can do to prepare for it. It was just the first one. Maybe they send your way. How should I know? After the first hit, the internet was down. The lights didn't come back on. But then a few moments later, there was another one. Now you can't count the seconds before seeing the flash and hearing the thunder when there's lightning. Yeah. This felt like that. Shock. Aftershock. Then counting little white flakes dropping down from the ceiling, hoping and praying that you spelled praying wrong. That's a different praying. That's that's the wrong praying. Next one wouldn't just obliterate you. You go on for long? I don't know, after the third one my laptop and phone both stopped working suddenly. EMP? Yeah, probably. I didn't know you were in a secondary effects of nuclear explosions. Was it nukes? Yeah, I guess so. Spread it in some novel or another. I didn't know you were into those kind of things. Kind of weird. Dreamy definitely knew, knows more things than the real me does. <laughs> oh, is that the future then? It might be talking about the future. I hope that's all this is. Nano TV said to monitor broadcast until an all clear was given, or at least 24 hours. Of course, I hadn't brought the radio, so I had no idea what the man on TV had said. Do you have enough food? I had enough to last me 24 hours at least. So, what was your decision? Um. That's gonna get me radiation poisoning, won't it? Um. Let's go ahead and head out. The bomb's already dropped. So the bomb stopped falling. At least I thought they had. Carefully open the door and was the scariest sight. Every window shattered. All my stuff blown around like some giant vandal had gone through my apartment. And outside the shattered window it was a city on fire. The sky was completely darkened, but it was all lit up by the flames. I staggered a little close and saw a mushroom cloud. Ugh. Is that my health? Or is that my morale or is it my health? I don't know. Right here. I knew it was my building. Was it happy? Was it collapsing? It sure sounded like it. I hurried out to the corridor and holy hell! Hell yes, the appropriate word. Some of the doors were just blown open across the corridor and I found went to them and yeah. It's just time to watch half the building fall away in a flaming sea of debris. Damn. Oh, I don't have a map. Jesus Christ! It's Jason Bourne! Like you can imagine, I ran to the stairs. Lucky they were still intact. I was afraid the whole thing would come crashing down any moment. You've got a very overactive imagination. Well, uh, caused me a lot of hurt in the dream. I was already running as fast as I could. I tripped, of course. I think I managed to throw up an arm at the last moment, which saved my life, but didn't save my head from bashing into the concrete wall. Ow. I was out cold for the rest of the night. Aw, oh, man. What was your status when you woke up? Sore and a lot of pain. I think I may have lost a tooth. But alive. Bruised, but alive. That's good. At least we're surviving. The building had collapsed on top of me. I was actually awakened by a flashlight shining in my face, blinking and other... Who was it? Couldn't really form coherent thoughts for a while, but after a bit, I found out his name was Ross. I mean, I knew that, I knew him actually, but it wasn't... I was really out of it for a while there. Ross lived one floor above me. He'd hidden in his apartment and waited 24 hours, then gone out looking for other survivors. Basically what I should have done. Once I had sufficiently recovered, he led me out of that stairwell. Were there other survivors? Yes, we gathered at the bottom floor, a little group of us. Ross, me and an old lady from the ground floor, family with two kids, the night janitor who had hidden in a broom closet when the bombs hit. No one was badly hurt, but we were all coughing from the ash. 
Weren't you worried? I mean about the radiation? Very. I knew that I had to get out of these clothes and throw them away, and preferably wash myself with soap and water as soon as I could get away from all the ash. But that was a problem for later. I took a clean handkerchief and tied it around my face, first of all. I didn't know how much good it would do against the ash, but it was better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so what did you do with your little group? Well, first, we all sat down and exchanged exchange stories of our survival, speculation of the cause of the attack, all that. It was the most natural thing in the world. But soon enough, we needed to make a decision. Ross said I was the last person he'd found alive in our building. Let's put some distance. We need to weave right then and there, but, but what? But they wanted to stay. The family, with the kids, he'd stayed. Oh, he wasn't in any shape. We had no medical supplies here. If there was anything that could be done for him, it would be out of town. Maybe the government evacuation center. Good thinking. So what'd you do? Um, gathered what we could and set off. It's not like we could do much from our bombed out apartment. Did they come with you? What about the family with the kid? Say I had aspirin and painkillers and all kinds of things in my first aid kit. All we had to do was keep him hydrated and upright. So in the end, they agreed and we could start heading out. So how many were you now? There were seven when we left the apartment building. Out of curiosity, was it you or Ross who lived? It was the night janitor! Ah! It was me. I never really thought of myself as a leader type, but I was the one who had convinced everyone to go, so I guess it was kind of my responsibility now. Midley seems kind of out of character. It must have been nice to be in a group, though. It was. Ross joked that we shouldn't worry. They hadn't even reached the first stage of the last four yet. The last four? Death, judgment, hell, and heaven. It's a Catholic thing. Hmm. Why'd they flash a four here? Is that just a reference to what she said, or is it like a clue or something? Oh well. What do it look like? The street's awful. Ruined buildings everywhere. Charred by fire, most of them. We pick our way be between cars and debris and bodies. There's so many bodies. Maybe sick just to think about it. Must have been pretty difficult to travel. Yes, although it was oddly inconsistent. Th I thought my building was the last one directly affected by the blast. About a block in the opposite direction, there was mainly intact buildings. As much as you could call them intact, I guess. Still standing. What about the others? Were there any survivors in the street? Yeah, there were others. A lot of them were worse off than me. Some were blind, some were burned, broken, or in shock. There, there just wasn't anything I could do. Where was the government? I don't know. No one knew. I hadn't heard a single ambulance siren since the event. For all we knew, there was nothing left. Why does that keep happening? Bad. Frowny face. Did you figure out where to go? Started coming across survivors soon enough. People like us, some with backpacks and some with clothes on their backs. It was absolutely wretched to see them. Some were staying put, but most were moving. From Reddit, right there was an evacuation center sent up at the college. What, like your college? Yeah. I've already seen this. Had a goal, the others could help. Make sure everyone had some kind of mask though, even if it was just a shirt to breathe through. So it was real? The evacuation center? Not so fast, there was a slight obstacle still in the way. The river. Is a river? Bridges were still there. They were occupied by that same group. Um, I'm gonna... Let's wait nearby and see what happens. Couldn't be forever. Where'd you hold up? There's actually a parking garage nearby. Just stroll in and walk up to the upper stories where you could get a perfect view of the river. Right, not the best cover though. I scouted it though and found a staff area. It was small but empty. Problem was, of course, where to fit everyone. So we created a rota system where some would wait and watch while the top parking garage and others would find somewhere else to hold up. I was in the garage permanently. What about the supplies? There was always loot to be had from surrounding buildings, even if not all of it was perhaps the safest. I did a run before settling in, gathering what I could. More food! So down to wait. How did that go? There's actually not much else to say, huh? Well, I've been feeling it for a long time, and... Aw, oh, come on! Not again! Again? 
There's, are these the only two endings? I keep dying the same way no matter what I do. I either get bombed or I die of radiation poisoning. I'll find something else soon. I'll find another way to die. Because if anything, if I'm good at anything in video games, it's finding other ways to die. So, I'll see you guys next time in, no t in a bottom of the well. I almost said no time to explain, my bad. <laughs> see you guys next time in bottom of the well. Bye.